Selling your estate in the summer, is it different? A little bit. Stick around, I'll tell you how. Hey, this is Bill Leaves, Associate Broker at REMAX and Ben Salem. I'm gonna give you some tips for selling your house or estate house in the summertime where it is a little different. First things, curb appeal is always important. It's 10% of your price, but I cover that in another video. So just make sure your grass is mowed every week or sometimes even twice a week. When you cut back to once every other week, it gets a little high, some weeds can grow. So keep that nice and trimmed, edged, and meticulously groomed, we'll say. That includes your flower beds, your bushes, the whole nine yards. So you want to accentuate your outside features, your patio, your pool, if you have a pool, anything like that that's outside, accentuate that, make sure you, a little extra polish, and you'll be uh, good to go with that. Another summertime tip, take advantage of your vacation. If you're hiring an agent, the agent can show the property while you're away. With electronics now, we can uh, do a, a virtual meeting, we can sign papers over the internet, they're perfectly legal and binding, and it's, it's a great way to take advantage of the fact that you're not gonna be there anyway to be encumbered by people coming in and out of your house. If it's priced aggressively and marketed properly, you should be able to sell within the time frame that you're away and come back and get ready to move. Also, while you're away, your realtor may decide to have open houses on Saturday and Sunday and maybe even during the week. People are more mobile during the summertime. People wanna get the kids out, they have a little more time to look, more time to do stuff. So take advantage of that and ask your agent, if you have an agent or do it yourself, schedule some extra open houses. While you're doing the open houses, another tip we always give is to declutter. Now, declutter and depersonalize kind of go hand in hand. You don't have to take down every picture of your family so it's a mystery of who lives there, but overload, people won't feel like it's their house, they'll feel like it's your house and they're just visiting. So you want to take down as much you want to depersonalize it as much as possible without making it look antiseptic now part of decluttering taking advantage of people being out and about more have a yard sale you can have a yard sale and an open house at the same time nothing wrong with that and you get rid of your stuff that's extra and we call that multitasking another tip for you is make sure the air conditioning is on I know it's tempting if you're not living in a house, especially with estates, to shut the air conditioning off because nobody's going to be there. There is nothing worse than walking into a stuffy house in any season. If there's central air, make sure you leave it on. You don't have to set it to 65. You can set it higher, but it's, all, it's got, it has to be comfortable when people walk in. Time and time again, we show houses where people just want to save a buck and not put the central air on, and it costs them well more than a buck because the house isn't comfortable. And when a house is hot, it smells more. We'll cover smells in another video, but for now, suffice it to say, try to keep the house cool. Now, if you have the power out, if you're selling as is, that's one thing. You're gonna get a lot less money, but these videos are designed to get you the most money possible without going crazy. If there's air conditioning units there, most of them have thermostats set in them. So again, you don't have to set it super low you don't have to run them all day all night if it's convenient for somebody to get there in the morning and evening to turn them on and off or set the thermostats and let them run also if the house is marketed and priced properly and aggressively you're going to sell it and it's not going to rack up a huge electric bill so we're not talking about doing this for months just a couple of days the other thing that the ac accomplishes not only cutting back on odors and making the house more comfortable if it's more comfortable, they'll want to linger a little longer. The longer somebody stays in your house, the higher the chances of them buying it are. If it's in a state and the electric's on and you have a refrigerator there, it's $4 for a case of water and probably two cents for a piece of paper that says help yourself to a cold water. Again, they'll linger a little bit more by grabbing a bottle of water out of the fridge and make themselves feel at home. The more they feel like it's their home and the more comfortable they feel in it, the higher your offer and the more offers you'll get. If you found these tips useful, check out some of my other videos and please like and subscribe.